how to become a process server in Alameda, California. I'm a process server. I got some legal papers for you. Are you looking to start your own business and you want one that is recession proof? Doesn't matter what the economy is doing. Doesn't matter how high gas prices are. Process serving is the way to go. What process servers do is we deliver legal papers to businesses, government agencies, corporations, LLCs, and to people. And what happens is somebody files an action in court, the other party has to be notified. Well, how many cases are filed in your courtroom in your county alone? I know in Sacramento, which is where I am, you got all kinds of courtrooms. You got small claims, unlawful detainer, You've got civil court cases, you got criminal cases, you got um, probate cases, you got civil cases. So that's hundreds of cases filed every day in between those different courtrooms. Process servers participate in the court system by delivering those papers. So my name is Lance Casey. I'm a Sacramento private investigator and process server, and I train and mentor people how to become process servers. So I also have a online training course down below in the description is a link to my website for my process server training academy where i can teach you who to serve how to serve and how to fill out the paperwork and make sure if you if you're interested as well i'll give you a free ebook i, I wrote this ebook and i sell it on amazon but i'll give it to you for free it's titled how to become a process server it's a free ebook it's my free gift to you down in my website in the description is a link to my website you just give me your email and I'll give you a PDF copy of my ebook. So right now we're talking about how to become a process server in Alameda, California. So in California, you have to register at your local recorder's office. So if you live in Alameda, California, we're gonna go to the website now. Alameda, California, you need to go to your local recorder's office at 1106 Madison Street, Oakland, California, 94607. And you're gonna to need to fill out some paperwork, pay some money and get a few things done. So we're gonna look at the actual application for the, uh, um, the process server application here. And so in California, the business and profession code 22351 is the uh, code section of the laws are related to becoming a process server in California. So if you do more than 10 serves a year, you got to get registered. So when you, what you'll do is you'll go to your local recorder's office. That's so why I gave you the address for Alameda, but this is specific. You, it, whatever county you live in, you go to that recorder's office, you basically do the same process. And so you're going to pay fees in Alameda to get your registration as a process server. It's going to be $134 that goes to the county. Um, but you're still going to have additional fees. So like your filing fee is $107, the recording fee to, to file your process server bond, because you got to get a process server bond for $2,000. And it's gonna, you got to pay $14 to the county to record that bond. And then if there's additional pages, let's say the bond is three pages or whatever, they're going to charge you a little bit extra to, for the additional pages. And then that you you're gonna they're gonna give you an actual process server ID card, so you got to pay ten dollars for that, and you got to provide them um, passport size photos for that as well. So what'll happen is this is the certificate of registration as a process server. You can get it as an individual, a corporation, or a partnership, um, and then you just fill it out with your name, address, date of birth, telephone number, you date and sign it, and then you're gonna have to get a live scan fingerprint check. So you'll take this paperwork, you'll fill this paper, part of the paperwork out, and you'll take this to a, a live scan office to get your fingerprints done. I'm not sure if, Cal if Alameda County has that in their building, but you can find some place to go get your live scan fingerprint as well. And so this is just the live scan fingerprint application. And so basically, this process is simple, become a process server. Literally for $350 or so, you start your own process server business. But just because you're registered, you gotta know what to do. I mean, as a process server, you're involved in the court system. So your, your paperwork has to be on point. You gotta know what you can and can't do. What is a good serve? What's a bad serve? What's a drop serve? What's a personal service? What's a uh, substituted service? Service by mail? 
When can you do substituted services? You know, how to serve restraining orders. I mean, all this stuff. Well, in my process server training course, I go over all of that. And I help you, I teach you how to fill out the proper proof of service form for each type of document that you serve because every document has a different proof of service form. So I'll show you the right ones to fill out. You, you have to fill them out in the course. That's part of the course as well. And then once you finish the course, I'll help you get started in the business by mentoring you a little bit and teaching you how to get those process server clients. So if you can do me a favor, like this video, um, subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification so you can be notified when I upload additional videos. Because like I said earlier, I upload training videos for process servers on this channel and I can take you on process server ride alongs where you can go out in the field with me and watch me as I'm doing my thing. And then also I will go live and give you a, a process server question and answer session. So if you have any questions about the business or which forms to fill out or what kind of serves to do or how to get clients, because that's the hardest part, how to get those clients, we go over that in my question and answer session. So have a great day.